just chilling out here at the local Walmart and I was not able to film inside because they were playing Madonna, which I love, but um, I will get dinged on my channel. So I also made a trip to Carter's <laughs> and couldn't film there either because there were kids running around screaming everywhere. I mean, just like they were a hot mess. I had two moms in there that were shopping together and they had newborns and they just like were not even watching their toddlers they were just letting them run through all the racks and like knock stuff over and like the employee ladies that worked there they're like they were like yelling at the kids and the moms didn't even care <laughs> so <laughs> woo! glad i have reborns this is why i don't have any more children so um I did get myself a little snack, a little cheat. I've been really good with my diet and today I'm like, forget it. I don't have time to eat. I'm just gonna like, huh, I'm gonna have a cheat snack. <laughs> Not a cheat meal. Oh, I have to do a repair on somebody. So I, I came here originally for this and I just needed something. It's a mom item. I needed to be able to take off this new like, mascara that I bought. It's that sky high stuff that really works. It does work just so y'all know, but it is really hard to get off. So soap and water doesn't cut it. Uh, I did get a couple of things. Miss Sassy, I've been noticing that she looks really cute in red and I don't have anything with strawberries. And I was saying in a previous video that I needed something with strawberries on it. And I just happened to see this which comes with my favorite little bloomers. So I thought this would be super cute on Miss Olivia. And then I found this outfit the last time I was there, but they only had it, let me get this straight. This is so cute. They only had this in three to six months, which was too big for her. And I really wanted it for her also. Uh, she looks so cute in rainbow stuff. So I finally just happened to see this hanging on the same rack as this. And they had it in the zero to three month size that she wears. So I got that. And then this is uh, mom items. <sighs> so I found a t-shirt there. And I've been really into like the whole like 70s and 80s vibe lately because, you know, that's where I grew up don't don't pay attention to my age <laughs> but it says nope not today love it and I love the whole vibe it has going on I've really been into vintage stuff from like my babyhood and toys from like when I was a little kid trying to find those again it's been so fun and of course another thing that shows my age <laughs> I found this Prince shirt so it's like a purple rain and um, I have one in purple just like this. Well, it's a little bit different, but it is a Prince shirt. Love me some prints. I will jam out to prints anytime, any day. So that is what I got at Walmart. And I'm just gonna hang out in my car and jam to some, probably to some prints or Madonna. <laughs> Cause I'm just terribly showing my age today, but I'm gonna eat some Funyuns because I'm just like reminiscing from my younger years, I guess. And Funyuns and Dr. Pepper were my favorite thing. I guess I'm having a moment. Like nostalgia is hitting me very hard lately and I don't know why. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have this, like where you guys go through this thing where you like just suddenly want to like reminisce a little bit and have things from when you were younger and like do things from when you were younger. I think I'm going through a midlife or something. I don't know. So let me know down in the comments. I am going to sit here and chill because my house is a little chaotic right now and I just want to like chill out for a little while. So that's what I'm going to do. So I am home and got this package in the mail, getting ready to open it. I have some packing of some babies that I've been doing. So got stuff going out and I am finishing up these guys today. They're gonna need gloss and lashes and this one needs some eyes. So I gotta get these babies going and get them done and get them photographed. I think I'm gonna do that in the morning, but I really want to open this. So we're gonna get that open. So as I said earlier, I've been feeling super nostalgic lately 
and I just happened to be on eBay and found something from my childhood <laughs> that I have to have. I have tried to make it a habit in my life of not collecting things that are sentimental to me because I've lost everything I've ever owned three separate times in my life. So I try to be very careful not to buy like expensive things like jewelry, expensive clothes, purses, like anything of value. <laughs> I try to steer clear of that and try not to buy things that are sentimental. But I am missing some things from my childhood that just, it makes me so happy when I find them again. So I found this little set on eBay and even though these are very, <laughs> inexpensive it's something that just makes me so happy and I cannot wait to pass this down to my grandbabies one day this is gonna be so cool if you guys even it doesn't even matter if you were born in the 70s the 80s the 90s Fisher Price little people have been around for forever for generations but these are mine these are the little people I remember but I'm gonna have to be very careful watching little kids play with these because they made little people very chunky because kids were choking on these in my day because of their shape. So this is a little baby and mama. And look at the little playpen. Oh my goodness, you guys. There is a little high chair that the baby goes in. Oh my goodness. There's a changing table. Do you guys remember these? Look, you can put the baby on the changing table. There's a stroller. Look at the little stroller. And it goes on little wheels. A real rocker. This actually rocks. And the baby goes in it. <laughs> and then look at this little cradle. How sweet, you guys. I am so excited for these. And then there's the mommy. <laughs> So, and she actually had blonde hair <laughs> when I was younger. So this is so funny because I remember having her and I just think that's so cool that she has blonde hair like me. So my hair has gotten darker as I've aged, but super cute. I am so excited for this little set, this little vintage toy set. This is so awesome. Yes, it's vintage <laughs> showing my age here. How cute is this little set? This is adorable. I am so excited for this, you guys. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Oh, I'm so excited. Um, another thing I remember having is the, the Little People Castle. I miss that castle with everything in it. I remember it having furniture and it had the whole like little prince and princess and the king and the queen so cute you guys look his head turns too how cute is that i am so excited for this so cute and the little mommy can like push him oh, his little stroller oh, here we go misty mommy this is so cute you guys this is such a blast from the past i cannot wait to play with these with some grandkids one day. This is gonna be so fun to just like break out the little people. I think I'm gonna start collecting some little people, but I really wanna get that castle. So I hope this has been a blast from the past for you guys too. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tiny box opening. It's so sweet, it's so nostalgic, and it makes me so happy. I can't wait to put this with the rest of my vintage dolls and my Cabbage Patch Kids and save these for later. And yeah, leave in the comments below if you like to collect certain things from your childhood or if there's something from your childhood that you missed that you wish you could have again. Speaking of little people, I have a little baby that I need to change. I really need to get this little one changed, but I wanna show you guys something. So this is a newborn sized diaper. This is a preemie sized diaper. This is a preemie two diaper. Look how little. <laughs> Look at how tiny this is. This is a preemie three diaper. 
how teeny tiny is this little diaper? Like, wow. <laughs> wow. So crazy. Look at how big a newborn diaper is compared to a, pre a preemie three diaper. How teeny tiny is that? So sweet. These are so cool. I mean, like, even the difference between a preemie two and a preemie three is just so huge. Such a huge difference. Wow. That is crazy to me. Like, how teeny. <laughs> Newborn. Preemie. So cute. But I'm going to change this little one into a cute little outfit. I've been dying to get him into. I really want to see if he fits into this little gown. It's like a little NICU gown and a little hat. I have this cute little hat for him and some little gloves. So I'm going to see how he looks in those. So I'm just going to take off his little hospital bracelet because he doesn't need that. But I was going to show you guys how he looked in these cute little preemie two diapers. Look at how little those are. Those are so cute. So sweet. Come here, little one. Oh, he's little, but he's still heavy. Look at that little booty. How cute is that? So sweet. He fits in the preemie two size diapers. Okay, so I'm definitely not sure about outfit number two. Uh, we have this sweet little blanket that a friend of mine made that matches, which is really cute. And we've got this cute little honey bug, little yellow passy. And we're rocking the, the green bottle today. So we have that. So super cute. But I used to work in the OR. <laughs> And I've never seen an outfit like this, uh, even when I worked in the NICU. And this is hilarious to me because I feel like this baby is wearing a scrub outfit. Like, <laughs> I feel like my child is getting ready to get scrubbed up to go in the OR. So maybe a future doctor, you know, future surgeon here we've got. But I am definitely not sure about the hat. <laughs> We may have to go without the hat. I might have to find you something cuter. It looks really cute when he's not wearing the hat, but I feel like he's kind of drowning in this outfit a little bit. It's not too, too bad, but it has the little matching gloves and it's like a little gown, but I definitely feel like he could fit in the tiny size. They have preemie, micro preemie, and tiny, and I'm thinking I should have gotten this little outfit like in the teeny size. He might have fit in that better, but... Still looks really, really cute, but this hat is way too big and it makes him look like a scrub tech <laughs> or a surgeon or something. You look like you're ready to go to the OR and hang out in there, but this actually looks kind of cute. So I think when I'm ordering from this company, this is called Perfectly Preemie. I think I'm going to get the tiny for him. So at least we know. I have another outfit I want to try on him too, and that is one of the things about little micro preemie babies is you never quite know what size they're going to wear depending on the company that you're buying from. So anyway, I'm going to still keep him in this outfit because it's really cute and it matches his little blanket and his bottle, but he still looks adorable. He's just, you know, he's a little micro preemie. They're always kind of like drowning in their little outfits and stuff. So that is it for this video, you guys. I'm going to wrap this one up and I'll see you on the next video. Bye guys.